Did you know that the Mississippi River flooded to such an extent that six entire states were affected? In fact, just under a decade ago, the U.S. suffered from one of the most catastrophic floods in its history, with that being the 2011 Mississippi River flood. Previously, such a catastrophic flood would have happened only once every 100 years, but now it is more, li like, more likely that such events will happen as the globe continues to heat up via global warming. As we get closer and closer to the 10th anniversary of this event every day, we thought we'd go back and read one of the articles written just days after the event. As with any large-scale st flood, the storm our suf community suffered through was caused by a myriad of factors. In fact, the tornado super outbreak that we just recently suffered through, as if we hadn't suffered enough already, was one of the prime causes due to the fact that it jumped so much water on our region. Another cause is the extremely large amount of snow we received this winter, which greatly increased the amount of water present as it melted. In fact, the whole winter can be considered as a cause due to its unnatural length and low temperatures. I don't need to really tell you this, but the sheer size of this flood is truly something else. In fact, the only flood like it occurred as far back as 1927, and this most recent one still eclipses it in terms of the extent of its damage. Its destructive fury was unrivaled, and it inundated several neighborhoods as it reached across 119 counties. But what's crazy is that it could have been so much worse. The Mississippi River and tributary system actually worked as planned. Really, the only major issue suffered in it was the explosive demolition of the Bird's Point Levee, which had to happen so as to relieve pressure on the system. And if you thought the repair bill for your house was bad, just wait till you hear the entire cost of the flood. It costed $2.8 billion. While it seems insane, the numbers actually make sense to get down to it. With 43,000 people being affected, and 21,000 homes, and 1.2 million acres of agricultural land, it kind of actually makes sense. And perhaps seems even a little low. In fact, some neighborhoods and businesses are totally unrecoverable. Victims of sand boils or the destruction of stream banks as water overflowed above their uh, edge. The flood's reach also heavily impacted coastal towns such as Eagle Lake. Eagle Lake, now due to the extreme damage suffered by its piers and boathouses, faces an uncertain future due to the fact that this will have an extremely negative impact upon its boating and fishing industries. In fact, their marine commerce system as a whole was seriously affected, with major coal shipments from New Orleans being seriously delayed. <laughs> like I said earlier, that while mitigation of this flood was somewhat successful, it definitely proved that there are issues with how the Mississippi River is managed. As of right now, efforts are underway to improve how we respond to floods like this in the future, which, unfortunately, will come more and more frequently. Smartphones and social media proved their worth as they could quickly and effectively notify people of the danger and give them vital information such as the allocation of shelter and supplies. Moreover, city pumping stations will be properly maintained from here on out, as it was unfortunately and visibly demonstrated that their improper maintenance resulted in localized flooding. And unfortunately, despite the successes of the system, numerous properties are irrevocably damaged and will have to be either condemned or gutted. The ferocity of this flood was simply without rival. This will surely be a story one can tell the grandchildren in 50 years, and it will likely remain in the public consciousness for far longer.